hello good morning viewers in this tutorial we are going to learn how to measure angles using protractor but before we start let us study this protractor carefully this is a protractor let me extend it a little bit if you observe we have a bunch of numbers here and all these numbers represent degrees from the left hand side you can see the exterior angle is zero if you move clockwise down to this position you have a total of 180 degrees and if you start from the right you can see the interior angle is zero here moving anti-clockwise down to this side you have another 180 degrees so all these two set of degrees have the same function just that if you are measuring an angle that is subtended Towards the left hand side, you have to count it anticlockwise. This means that you have to use the interior angles. And if it is subtended towards the right hand side, you have to count it in this direction. This is another point. If you look at this, we have a line that represents 90 degrees. And this 90 degrees line is perpendicular to this horizontal line. And we have a point of intersection between the two lines. And this point of intersection is exactly where you have to place your protractor on the origin of the angle you want to measure. This is another point. The total angles on a protractor is 180. This is because a protractor is half a cycle. You know the total angle in a cycle is 360. Divide by 2, you have 180. If you observe carefully, we have other smaller lines. And all these smaller lines represent 1, 1 degree each. So suppose we want to measure 31 degrees. You can see uh, we have 0 here, we have 10, we have 20, we have 30. So you have to add one extra. One line extra so this line here is 31 degrees so now let us construct angles at random to see how we can measure them suppose we have another angle like this we want to measure this angle let me label it this is the origin let me call this a therefore line a o o o a is said to be the line of focus where we have to place our protractor. While this line is the extended line that forms this angle theta. So now let us bring the protractor. This is the protractor. Let me show you the origin. I have placed it on the origin in such a way that the line of focus will be exactly on top of the horizontal line that represents 180 degrees or 0 degrees. So now since the angle is subtended towards the right hand side, we are going to measure the angle clockwise. If you go like this, you can see this is 90 degrees. We continue. This is 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 141 and a half. 141.5 degrees. This is our theta. This is how to measure angles, even if it is a straight line, you know, angle on a straight line is 180. So let's confirm that. So this is a straight line. This is our protractor. Let us place it on top. You can see that it is exactly on top of the horizontal line that starts from 0 to 180. This means that the angle from this angle right here is... 180 degrees if it is a complete circle it will be 360 degrees so now let us see how we can measure the total angles in a triangle you know they are 180 so let me draw a triangle
okay so now let me name this one as angle theta angle alpha and angle beta okay now let me measure angle theta first we can measure any one of them let me start it at random this is my protractor let me place it here okay now we want to measure this angle theta you know this is going to be 10 20 30 40 50 51 so this angle theta is 51 so we have theta equal to 51 let us measure angle beta angle beta will be 10 20 30 uh, approximately 40 so it is 40 degrees beta is 40 degrees then let us measure the last one um, let me bring it here then we swap it like this So now let us measure that. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, um, 89. You see, remain one for it to complete 90. Alpha is equal to 89. So what do we do next? Let us add all of them together to see whether we're going to get 180. If it is equal to 180, we are good to go. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then 1 plus 9 is 10. We have 0. We have 1 left. 5 plus 4 is 9. And 9 plus 8 is 17. Then 17 plus 1 is 18. We have 180 degrees. And we are right. And these angles are said to be measured accurately. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.